Asian Fusion, a chef-driven experience that explores Filipino and Pan-Asian flavors, is now open in downtown Aurora. Executive chef and co-founder Garnett Chavez joins us now with a taste of what guests can expect. Thank you for coming yeah. in. Yeah. Hey, Thanks and congratulations, because you just opened last week, right? Yes, we just actually hit our third day of opening. So this <gasps> past weekend, we did our grand opening, and we've been having a lot of support from the downtown community so it's been good all around yeah and when you talk about asian fusion you're talking korean filipino vietnamese thai japanese you got a little bit of everything in there yes yes correct all right so what are you making for us today so today we're doing a filipino and japanese inspired dish so it's called hamachi kinilao okay so hamachi is usually yellowtail it's more of a citrus fish that we use for japanese side kinilao is kind of more of the process of cooking so it's like a filipino ceviche that we incorporated inside oh. A Japanese style of um, fish, which is hamachi. So, okay. here we have in front of us is the hamachi loin. So, okay. we are going to be cutting it in six pieces. So, it's more of a sashimi oh, um, yeah. style okay. of yeah. sushi. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, now, is this? I mean, it's it's a meteor denser or fish. It looks like it holds up more like a steak. Yes. Yes. Okay. So it does. It's very, very firm, but. When Look bite into it, it's like butter. 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 Yeah, so. That's okay. how I like to hear. All right, all right. So you've been cooking since you were 15 years old, I hear. Yes, yes. Wow. Wow. So, so you love it. So this is that, how did you come up with the idea of doing the fusion? So it's just with working with different restaurants, uh, we kind of, I've kind of took a lot of um, ideas and stuff that I learned from to kind of fuse it into something different, something unique. Mm -hmm. um, not really much a lot of Asian fusion restaurants around and mm -hmm. I, we wanted to incorporate our culture, our Filipino culture inside of our dishes. So we have a bunch of different fusions. We use Filipino flavors to cook the Japanese style of cooking, which is our robata grill. So we do a lot of fusion in that techniques also. So did you grow up eating fusion type food or were you mostly eating uh, Filipino food? I was mostly eating Filipino okay. food. Mm. So. so how do the spices, do they, do they complement each other? Do they contrast each other? How do they mix when you start? Because each one has a little different flavor, flavor profile, mm. right? So it's usually just trial and error. Okay. Um, our chefs, sous chefs, do a lot of r and every week to uh -huh. kind of mm -hmm. get the flavor profile that we want on each dish. So. We like to fuse a lot of different countries, the Southeast Asian countries. Oh. Um, it's either we're doing Korean and Japanese, Filipino and Japanese. So we do a lot of mixes just to incorporate that in the menu and have kind of a selection for everyone. A lot of fresh flavors though, that's for sure. So yes. what else are you gonna do? So what are you gonna do with the fish? So first thing is first, I have this coconut cream sauce okay. that we're gonna plate on. So basically cool it down after you've heated up because you want that creaminess of coconut sauce. Yeah, it's pretty. I like mm -hmm. the plating. So after that, we're going to take our hamachi, mm -hmm. and usually I go tail side in. Because presentation is everything, yes. right? That's something you've learned over the years, I'm sure. And is this an appetizer or a main dish? So it's mainly more of an appetizer okay. on our cold okay. side. Oh, so you would share it? Yeah. Oh, very nice. So is the, <clears throat> is the fish pretty flavorful on its own? Yeah, so it's very citrusy. Okay. Um, reason being why we wanted to kind of incorporate it in a kindalao dish, because Filipino ceviche, we use a lot of citrus in our ceviche. Our main citrus that we use is calamansi, so it's like almost like a Filipino mm. lemon. So um, mm -hmm. that's why we wanted to kind of incorporate a fish that was already very citrusy. Okay. okay, so what's next? So next thing is, so after we put the coconut, I like to add a little bit more coconut cream on top just because the creaminess. Why not, right? Why not, you know. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So after that, we're gonna put the Ryu oil, which is a chili oil, so it gives it- I a, figured it mm -hmm. looks a little, little, little it, spicy. Yeah, so it gives it a little bit more fragrant and a little spice to it. Okay, mm -hmm. so but not be, too much. So not you're not, too much, you don't so. need to go run and get the water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then next, we are going to be putting our vinaigrette sauce. Oh, okay. So this kind of molds everything together. So it's more of a Filipino blend that we had put. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned this kind of being like a ceviche, but does it have to sit in the sauces at all like a ceviche does, or is this more of a flavor addition to it? It's more kind of like a deconstructed ceviche, Got it. Okay. Filipino oh, okay. ceviche. So okay. we kind of, stuff that are on our menu, um, we kind of deconstruct it to still get the traditional flavors. Mm -hmm. but. Like you said, with the presentation, we like to have everything well presented. Okay. Oh, that's fun. Oh, yeah. It's like playing with your food. So this is obviously made fresh to order, correct? Yes, yes. So as soon as we get the order in, that's when the chef will cut the fish. Okay. okay. All right. So then we got the uh, 
The vinaigrette, anything else going on? Yeah, so we add a couple of radishes just for a little bit of crunch. Oh. So the way that you would eat this dish is kind of rolling it up onto a chopstick and having it in one bite. Oh, okay. oh wow, okay. okay. And real quickly, because we don't want to ignore the other dishes that yeah. you brought in front, tell us what those are. Yeah, so the front one, the one to the right, is going to be our beef Korean dumplings. So Ooh, that yeah. one Ooh, that is more delicious. of a Korean and Japanese flavor. Okay. Um, Korean mandu was basically similar to kind of like their dumplings, uh -huh. kind of infused it with the Japanese style of gyozas. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and then the one in the middle is our lumpia. It's a Filipino traditional spring roll with mm. pork and veggies. Yes. Um, but the main thing is our sauce. Our sauce is the killer, the whole dish, and okay. it kind of binds everything together. Yeah. Okay. Then over there to the left, we have our lemon miso sea bass. So Ooh, underneath yeah. it, we have a potato yeah. puree, and on top, we have a charred shiitake mushroom on top. That All right, fantastic. so Amy is dying to yeah, try, can I this? try this. I know that, yeah. so go. Okay. Is that, it's done? I, I still have to put oh, a couple Ooh, of things, sorry. sorry. Okay. <laughs> getting really excited. So this is black tapico. Oh, okay, cool. So okay. it's a smelt fish eggs on top that gives it kind of a little bit more that fishier is... flavor, more fresher flavor. Okay, so we're going to let you finish that, and we're going to tell everybody that Leilani Asian Fusion, it's open now. It's in Aurora on River Street. There's the social media handles as well as the website. Get in there. Check it out. This is amazing. Oh, Chef, this looks so good. I'm diving in as yeah. soon as we get to the commercial All break. All right, we'll go for it. <laughs>